Alright, Matt, take your camp here and uh, hop back on the track here for this 10K. And hung in there until about, about the last mile, maybe. Walk yeah. through the back half of that race. Let's keep it a little short. Yeah, I mean, uh, start from the beginning. <laughs> um, there, early on, the focus had been trying to. I don't think Jerry ever took me away from the track. Um, I was. I wanted to. Kind of learn the roads, <laughs> get in that like, routine as much as possible, no. Um, no. knowing you're going to get ready for a fall marathon. I'll, I'll call you tonight. Uh, and that was going to be a road race a month, basically. Um, and uh, the workouts, though, for that were mostly one day a week or one time a week working out with Chris Slinsky doing 5K, 10K specific stuff, and then going off on my own and doing some long tempo road specific stuff. Um, and when you do kind of that method, it doesn't take very much to sharpen up for a very specific event. Um, and as the guys were tuning up for this, uh, I was jumping in some workouts with Chris, and uh, we had a couple very specific track-focused workouts that um, really kind of took me back to my 2009 um, fitness. Uh, and kind of once I hit that, my, the the itch to come back to the track was there. And, um, knowing that Jerry was fully on board and uh, almost kind of pushed me a little bit, uh, it was kind of an easy decision to make, especially with the teammates all gearing up for that. And, um, I did give it my best shot tonight. Um, I knew early on, I think, uh, that was it was just a, a really tough race with a lot of great athletes, and um, I knew that it was going to come down to kind of within the first mile of the race. I knew it was going to come down to. Either a really last fast 5K or a really last you know mile or six laps. And every time we kind of jumped into the, there was a little speed up 67 and then slow back down. Like that kind of helped me a little bit, found a little bit better rhythm. Uh, but as we got into uh, just wrenching it down, it just wasn't there. So originally you say, "Hey, I'm not gonna do. I'm, I'm just on the roads now." Did it, did you feel like your heart was totally on the roads when, when you made that decision? No, I mean, I'm a competitive guy, especially I don't think my focus was, I don't think Jerry ever has any of his athletes specifically on just an event. It's uh, staying true to our foundation and the philosophy of, you know, the base training. If we touch on that all year long, we can really kind of go back and forth. Um, you only need, you know, three weeks to, to really be, as long as you've been touching on it throughout the year, you really only need like a three-week period sharpen up um, and that's kind of the uh, when um, early on without me knowing it <laughs> that's kind of the route that, that we went um, and I think just at the end there um, we did some really hard stuff and I think I just got a little bit greedy and uh, didn't quite stay with kind of what it brought me along so, <laughs> so what's next for you um, I don't know. My, I'm pretty sore right now. I'm a little bit beat up. Um, and uh, maybe the 10K peach tree. Um, but maybe not anything until maybe take a break right now and then build up for uh, some, some t September racing and then uh, a fall marathon. You know which fall marathon you're going uh, I do not know. Uh, we're going, working with that right now and I'm sure it'll be an announcement pretty soon. How, has there been a process of, hey man, I know I want to do a fall marathon, I'm excited to do it, should I just go all in for the roads, should I just should I just put the track behind me, was that something? Yeah, I mean, it really, it really was, I have no clue what I'm, I mean, I do know what I'm getting myself into in the marathon, but I don't think anybody really knows how to prepare in the debut marathon for the last six miles. Um, I've had a lot, you know, teammates go through it, and some have been really successful, and some it's been a huge struggle for um, And so... I want to be as prepared as I possibly can, and I know that build up for them has been anywhere between you know 16 to uh, 20 weeks if you include mileage and stuff. So um, I don't think I'm going to do that kind of build. Um, and when Jerry and I really kind of sat down and talked about it, um, there would have been enough time to kind of run U.S. Championships, Worlds, if that was what was going to happen, and still do it and still get ready. So. Um, when we really got specific about kind of looking into the details and the timing of things, that's I think, kind of when you know, I started kind of getting the edge and seeing if I could piece together kind of a, a, a dream season, you know, touch on everything. Um, 
and you know when you're going up against guys that take zero shortcuts, um, always doing everything that's necessary, uh, you can't take any shortcuts yourselves. And, uh, every guy that's on that team this tonight, and uh, you know we've been, uh, you know been true Ryan Bale uh, and Braun, like all those guys are in mega tough. Uh, deserve you know everything that they got, and I know the team that's going to be representing the U.S. and Worlds is going to crush it. So at the end of the day, this really wasn't a detour from from from, from playing. It was a uh, hey, why not? No, I don't really think it. I think what it does, what it did, really change was the U.S. road circuit. Um, I think really trying to. Uh, I guess there's still like a chance, but I mean, obviously, there's a lot of great guys doing, you know, gonna earn a lot of big points uh, for races that I won't be doing. So uh, it'll be, you know, if they continue to uh, progress on with that series. It'll be really tough to do that. So kind of changes that format, and now we'll really be really specific and pick and choose on, you know, what road race will serve the best uh, leading into what we're gonna choose. Matt, uh, I think we had a stat that. You've made every single U.S. team that you've ever tried out for. Whether or not you actually you went to the championship, you always qualified. So I guess that streak, you know, all streaks must come to an end. But are you pretty proud of that streak? I mean, were you even aware you had that? I'm mean, were you aware you had that going? And I, I mean, are you proud of yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, um, to me, I know that everybody had uh, talked about that. Um, but you know, I did run 2005, and there was a world championship that year, and I did not make that team. Oh, okay. sorry. So, oh, uh, oh I, I blame them. I didn't see the correction. I correct question here, but I hope you changed it. All right, I got that stat for so, him. So no, it's totally. Though, right? I, well, I just I just graduated. Yeah. So, um, but in my book, what you know, I'll let I'll let a cool sounding streak live on. <laughs> no, but it, all good things come to an end. There, you know, I. Uh, Things have gotten tougher and tougher for me. I've tried to hang on. I've, you know, had really good pe uh, peaks. Um, it's I just can't put together a long stretch of really high level, uh, really specific training. And um, it's just been. I think that's where I talked earlier about, um, you know, how committed you have to be on the track and it's just from a physical standpoint like the intensity level that is uh, it takes to run a you know world championship level is so hard and um, it's it is what it is tonight I hung on there for as long as I possibly could um, died in an ugly death there and, uh, you know it will uh, inevitably this will take my fitness to another level and it'll serve me well and now I can kind of change my focus and get ready for uh, the marathon. So moving forward, probably, I mean, do you think we'll see you on the track next year, or do you think you're, you think you're actually I, putting it aside now? No, I think Shalane's a really good indicator. I think she's obviously uh, a ways ahead in kind of how she, uh, or what she has done in her past years for scheduling, but um, I was saying earlier, uh, the way that Jerry's philosophy is and the foundation that he lays, it really does allow you to kind of switch back and forth uh, between the road and the track. And um, I just, if I come back to the track, like I really want to feel totally on top of my game. All right. Well, good luck with everything moving forward.